Hey guys, Tim Uchuk here, and if you're watching this video, chances are you're a service business owner, and I wanna start by asking you this question here, which is, has your business slowly transformed into a time-sucking vampire? Meaning that, are you still having to play chief everything officer? Are you still having to wear most of the hats? Are you still having to put in insane hours each week just to keep that machine running? Because if you are, number one, you're in the right place, and number two, I wanna walk through in this video and in this document something called a balanced operating system, which is designed to help you not only take your business to the next level in terms of clients and sales, but more importantly, do so in such a way that your business and your team is able to run and function smoothly, whether or not you're in the office. So here's the rough agenda that we're gonna be walking through. We're gonna talk about future state, what life can look like when you have a balanced operating system in your business, we're going to define the problem, the current state problem at the root level. We're gonna get into the solution, what it looks like, what in the heck a balanced operating system is. I'm gonna give you some examples. And then we're gonna talk about how to get started if it makes sense for you and if you're wanting to install something like this into your business. So let's start for a moment imagining 90 days from now, waking up and your business and team are now running like a well-oiled machine, even when you're not in the office. You're now starting to feel useless at the office since you now have a system doing most of the managing for you instead of you being the system yourself. Your clients have never been happier, even though you've mostly stepped out of the day-to-day -day operations. You just have one of your best months in terms of profitability, even though your work week has been cut in half. And most of your time is now spent doing things that you love and are naturally good at. So in this document, I wanna walk through the exact system that's helped myself and over 800 other service business owners make that a reality. And you're gonna see some of the results down here. Uh, there are four videos, you can click this, it's gonna open up the videos. We have Spencer here who took his gutter repair business from three to $5 million while at the same time removing 15 to 20 hours spent in meetings each week. We have Lindsay who took her commercial design business from half a million dollars per year to just under $1 million per year in the same year that she had her first baby girl and was able to take two months off for maternity leave to spend time with her new baby. Mason here who took his commercial roofing business from one to six cities in the first year that he started that business while removing himself from the daily operations and becoming one of the fastest growing roofing businesses in North America. And we have Slava who expanded his property development business while moving his family to their dream location. So they moved from Boston to Hawaii, they now live in their dream house. He's able to run and manage his business remotely spending just around 30 hours per week while spending the remainder of his time doing things like foil surfing. So you're gonna see, you can click these, open up the videos, and I'm also gonna put a link here to more client case studies and results in addition to some of the feedback we've received from a lot of the clients that we've helped over the years. So what I'm gonna share with you, it's the same system that, as mentioned, helped me back in 2012 make the shift from operator to owner, and this is me, receiving my wake-up call when we had our firstborn Harrison, and I quickly realized that this was not the reality that I had dreamt of when I went out and started my business. I was putting in marathon hours, I was running all the meetings, I was fighting all the fires, I was wearing all the hats, and unless I was putting in 60, 70 hours per week, everything would come to a grinding halt. So that's when I had my big wake up call and I ended up applying myself and learning the timeless principles around empowering my team and systemizing myself out of the weeds so that I was able to quickly make this transformation here, which is from operator to owner, to the point where I now spend five to 10 hours per week each week. That's my mandatory time each week running those businesses. And we now run them remotely from Vancouver Islands. So my businesses are in Evanston, Alberta. We live on Vancouver Island, and the big point is optionality, right? So coming into the office being optional. This is what I want to walk through with you here. So let's unpack the root cause of this problem, right? Business overwhelm and chaos when it comes to growing and, and taking your business to the next level. So number one, we talked about becoming that number one bottleneck in your business, and symptoms of this include your business growth is either flat or declining, you're still wearing too many hats. A lot of those hats might be those $10 pesky tasks, that, things that drive you nuts. Um, you're putting in insane work weeks just to keep things running. You're struggling with handing things off with confidence. You're having to miss out on precious time with family, which as a result pulls you out of alignment with your values. 
And maybe you've tried some things already, such as the latest and greatest apps or tools, things like ClickUp or Asana or Notion or Trello or the latest flavor of the month tool, only to feel even more overwhelmed and confused. Maybe you've tried delegating to others, only to waste even more time fixing their mistakes. Maybe you've tried documenting your processes, only to have nobody follow them or pay attention. Maybe you've tried implementing yet another flavor of the month strategy from a podcast, book, or YouTube video, only to be left even more confused and frustrated. And lastly, you might have tried another coaching program that helped to point you in the right direction, but left you having to build everything out yourself. So back to that trial and error experimentation. So the root cause here, again, this is the bottleneck effect, and I define the bottleneck as you being on the left. These arrows, think of those as decisions and activities. And if 80 to 90% of the day-to-day decisions and activities are having to flow through you, you're the number one bottleneck. So we wanna make this transformation from operator to owner where 80 to 90% of those decisions and activities are able to bypass you and flow through your team. And when that happens, we're able to make this shift from phase one, so break through that growth ceiling from phase one to phase two because you're able to bypass those decisions and activities, which means that your business is able to take on more clients without you having to put in more hours, right? And another way of looking at this is making the shift from centralized. All of these nodes here are decisions and activities having to go through you. So we want to set up a system that does the managing for you so that those decisions and activities can go through your team. So now that we've unpacked the problem, let's jump to the solution. And I want to start with a metaphor. I want you to think about a pendulum when it comes to your business growth cycle. And that pendulum swings between your major business constraints as you grow. So think about those two major constraints being client acquisition, your ability to get customers, and client fulfillment, your ability to fulfill those customers. And when you're first starting out, that constraints on client acquisition. So you get enough customers until you have too many, and the pendulum or the constraint swings to the fulfillment side until you have the ability to handle those customers and swing it back to sales and marketing so you can take on more business. And looking at it another way, right, we're going from startup to seven figures, slow down, make some key hires, clean up your systems, take on more sales until you have too many sales. And this is what that growth cycle looks like. So that pendulum swings between, and this is the the balanced operating system, it swings between client fulfillment and business growth. And these are the two systems that businesses need. So if we focus too much on the sales side, we're creating future problems for ourselves and for our team. And if we're not proactive in solving those problems, you're going to feel overwhelmed. So when we're talking about balance, we're talking about a balance between client acquisition, your ability to acquire customers, and client fulfillment, your ability to fulfill customers by having the right team in place, by having the right system around your team. So when we talk about a balanced operating system, we're talking about two systems for maintaining stability as you grow. There's a system for your growth, so that's your client acquisition and your client retention, right? Generating leads, converting leads into customers, that system, and one for stability. So we're talking about a system for hiring, so attracting candidates, getting the right people into the right seats, managing and optimizing their performance in your daily operations in your business, your systems, your processes, that kind of stuff, so that your business is able to run smoothly, regardless of the growth cycle you're going through. So when you have these things in place, your business is able to, again, explode without you losing your mind. So let's quickly talk about how to get started. If you want to learn more about our balanced operating system and you'd like to learn how our team could actually install this straight into your business, you're going to see a link down here to schedule a 30-minute right fit call just to learn more about the system and see if we're a good mutual fit. And number two, who is this for? So if you own a professional services business, so financial, accounting, or similar, Um, home services business, contractor, electrical, HVAC, plumbing, or similar. If you have a team or are starting to build one, you are not in startup mode. This is not for startup businesses. And if you're value and impact aligned, so this isn't for people who are hustle at all costs, our main purpose and objective here is not only the growth side, but it's also the value alignment side with your business. So if this makes sense to you and you want to learn more, you're going to see a link here to a calendar for a 30-minute call And you're also going to see some resources here. You're going to see our roadmap, what that looks like. Feel free to take a look. And this document, you should see a link somewhere around this video. Other than that, I hope this was useful. And I look forward to hopefully seeing you on the other side. Cheers.